And we've been talking about collaboration in the organizational development world for, what, 20 years, anyway? 25, 30 years, self-directed work teams, socio-technical work systems, and so on. So uh, I would say that collaboration as a generality, and we've probably often talked about this or imagined it, will continue to uh, soften, make flexible, and or break down existing structures. And that's what I'll come to later here, or that I'm leading into now, is that the apart from the customer service and customer response and supplier response work, which I'll, I'll classify as external, if we go into internal collaboration, uh, the place where that's important, I think, is in what we call knowledge work, and I would say that that's work that either synthesizes or creates or evolves things. Mm. Fair enough? Uh, and there, there's, I think, three big issues. There's the existence of um, the, the analog to business processes in terms of the way any given company works which is an interplay of its organizational structure plus the existing social networks that we know a lot about from social network analysis, you know, and hubs and gatekeepers and mavens and, and all that kind of thing. But that's uh, one of the big issues is the existing business processes and their relation to the org structure. The second big issue in terms of internal knowledge work and it's shifting more towards collaboration is the whole uh, job description, pay, performance management, and HR stuff, which is absolutely geared to uh, the previous structures and mindsets as a, as a large generality. I mean, it's just formed on different assumptions. Um, and, and the third, and I think probably the most important, is where both the business process or information flow architecture and the job definitions and understandings of it of people that hold the jobs come to play in, in collaboration will change uh, decision making and execution in that type of work that synthesis and creation and that then touches on power influence your clout in an organization can you you know you can have great discussions and if you can't make anything happen or can't get a new idea started then you know, people pretty quickly say, well, what the, what's the point of collaborating? Yes. You know, or, you know, and so on and so forth. So that's where I suspect you get into, uh, you know, the hierarchy to hierarchy thing is you have to look at the decision-making processes. You have to look at the uh, places where influence matters and make something happen and can change things. Um <clears throat> And I think the ways that, that, that collaboration will change that is that a lot of more information about a company, its customers, and its workings uh, should become public inside the organization and, and maybe some outside the organization. Uh, what also should always be public, I think, is the purpose, uh, the, yeah, the purpose, the objectives, the timelines, all that kind of stuff that a self-directed team would need to to direct itself, manage itself. But, and I, and I, when I brought up history before is I think that, you know, there are, there are forces uh, uh, that are taking us towards the point where what we are talking about generally as collaboration is becoming more understood as this is just the way people do things. But that has to infuse, adapt, and uh, I guess erode the existing structures 